Hey people, I just thought I'd show you uh, real quick what I've been doing with uh, my iPad and uh, Reason using the awesome uh, DS uh, Mini Wi-Fi application. Um, this really small little server that you can download for free sits right up here and that's all it really does. Uh, it creates uh, a MIDI link between your iPad and your computer once you set up a, a local uh, Wi-Fi network for the two of them to share. So um, on my iPad, I'll just start the MIDI Touch application, and as you can see, uh, I made a little control pad here for uh, some of the common stuff I'd like to do with uh, Subtractor. And uh, in reason, I've just got a regular Subtractor patch, and I've just made a little stupid little uh, bass uh, run uh, thing to run through just to show you how this works. So I'll start my little loop, and. Uh, it's uh, not doing much, it's just uh, one note repeating itself, but uh, I can now start meddling with the filters. I've got this, um, this little bar here that lets me control the filter, and this is all wirelessly controlling the filter here in the subtractor. And uh, I can use this um, slider to control the resonance, and I've also made myself an XY pad here so I can do them both at once. And as you can see, the, uh, the latency is really nothing to talk about, even though it's going over Wi-Fi. Um, it's, it feels like real time. It must be a couple of milliseconds uh, at most, because it it's really is uh, real time feeling doing this. Now I've also got um, myself a little Kong patch that I made here. And I'll just switch to the Kong um, up here. And uh, I'll control the Kong. And uh, hitting the pads on here. See, I got the, everything uh, set up just the way I like it. And uh, really, uh, it's, it's like a minimum of setup. All you have to do is download the DS Mini Wi-Fi application, run it on your Mac, um, and uh, have Reason running. And uh, this Mini Touch application automatically can sense that the, um, the DS uh, Wi-Fi server is running and automatically start transmitting MIDI data, uh, data over the uh, Wi-Fi connection. And then uh, you can drag and drop your own little pads here in this application if you want to add something else, like say you wanted to add a slider, all you do is you drag it out, you uh, tell it what control change uh, to, to use for it, like number 7 here is a filter normally, and uh, that's all you gotta do. Now obviously uh, this is for the Kong patch, so maybe you don't need to have a filter there, but you get the idea. Anyway, just thought I'd show you just how simple that was to get up and running, and uh, it didn't require me uh, buying anything. Well, you know, I did go out and buy the iPad uh, camera connection kit, uh, the little USB thing, and I did try yesterday to hook up a regular USB uh, MIDI interface to it, and it works just fine, but this um, Wi-Fi transmission is so much easier um, it doesn't require any extra hardware. It does allow me to plug in the iPad while I'm playing since the, the dock port is now available so I can um, don't have to worry about running out of steam while I'm playing and uh, the main reason I got the hardware for it was because I thought that uh, the latency would be too much with the Wi-Fi but it really is uh, as close to real time and uh, as I can as I can, as can wish for so there's no uh, there's no really no need to go out and buy this hardware to do this just download this uh, MIDI touch application from the App Store and uh, you're good to go